Hi everyone, Chef Anthony here at Dawn's Appliances. Today I'm going to give you an overview of the Beko dishwasher. This is the pocket handle version, stainless steel front. This is a great, great piece. The light on the interior, which is huge. If you ever had a light on your dishwasher, this signifies the deal. I'm going to actually go over the controls right here, and then we're really going to jump into the inside. So first off, you know, you're on or off, but then you have your remote start. So this would be a Wi-Fi enabled product. So you can download the app, really remote start it, and really have full control from your uh, tablet or your smart device. Auto is going to be the best sensor we're actually going to use. There's a turbidity sensor in the back, kind of like a light detector. It'll test the water and figure out, hey, this is a heavy load. Hey, this is a light load, light soil, and in between. It'll autopilot and pick the right setting for your dishes every time. 90% of the time, we tell customers, really, that auto will save your time, save your energy, and keep you more efficient. Okay. Next one, we're going to go with the Aqua Flex. So that flex there is really going to help. It's another, like auto feature on there, so, but the, it gives you the flexibility. It's really gonna help on the very duration and the end times and the run times. So it's kind of like a little bit more efficient, so it gives you that flexibility. So you can actually you know, change it up as you will. Heavy is always gonna be for your pots and pans or your heavy soiled items, whether you're taking grates out of your um, hood or something like that, or if you have you know, those heavy pots and pans and things like that that you really wanna get them cleaned really well. Heavy is gonna take full power. It's gonna be, you know, all full, all full um, energy, all full hot water, everything max load. So think about that. Normal they still put on here is gonna be your standard. That's your standard runtime and things like that. I don't use really normal as much, but I'm really gonna go to auto and auto and uh, aqua flex for the glasses too, okay? So next one is glass care. So this really helps with your wine glasses, kind of your Pilsner glasses, anything like that. In glass care, it'll really uh, concentrate on the spotting and the etching, kind of the things that, you know, have uh, plagued dishwashers in the past. So if you're having a party and things like that, or if you're taking, you know, glasses out for the holidays and you want to really get the spots off and get the dust off, and glass care is a dedicated setting. And, you know, a lot of customers love that one, okay? Next is uh, a quick and shine. So quick and shine is really going to be for your holiday plates or seasonal items, I call them. So say you have them in the garage, whether it be those Christmas plates or those holiday plates, but you know they're clean. We just need to get a quick shine on them and get them back to normal. It, it warms them up, runs a lighter cycle on it, so you're really not you know, damaging the dishes or etching them because that's really what happens. Sometimes if there's no soil on the dishes or dirt on the dishes, you know, you're going to hit it with soap. You're going to hit it with hot water and everything. It's really going to etch the enamel of the china and things like that. In this setting, though, the quick and shine, no soap. So you don't put any soap in. It's just going to heat up that water to a sanitized setting and run a warm cycle. Okay. Next one is express. So that's going to be your quickest cycle. This is, you know, for the customer that, you know, say you are having that dinner party and you know you need to run like two loads at a time or something like that. You need to get two, two runs in. So this is for, you know, if you cleaned your dishes already and you know you're just putting them in there to run this, this is your quickest cycle. So Express is your friend. Rinse and hold is gonna be another one too. So if you wanna do this, you know, it's just really gonna rinse it, take the heavy soil off, kind of a pre-treater for your dishwasher, okay? So if you put this in there and you don't wanna run it right now, just hit the rinse and hold, rinse it, make sure to loosen some of the heavy stuff off so you don't have to scrape your plates, okay? And then now download cycles, the next one. So that's again with the app. So you can download and customize your own setting and cycle, okay? Next, let's talk about this one. This is deep wash. So this is gonna be a longer cycle, but it's really not, it's gonna take the uh, eco mode off and really use you know, the most amount of water, okay? Fast Plus is really gonna kinda cut down on that preheat time. So you're gonna, you're probably only gonna save around three or five minutes, but it's really nice to have. Steam glass, steam glass and sanitize all talk together. So the steam glass is really just, if you have clean glasses and you say they're a little spotty or something like that, instead of going and wiping them all out, you could steam them kind of in a, in a low moisture setting, okay, and that'll make them nice and easy to wipe out, okay, and then the next one, sanitize is really going to be for all your cookware and things like that, you can really hit sanitize on the end of these settings, that just really heats up the the tub to kill all the bacteria. So think about that one as well. Then the next one, half load is it's kind of like a, a bittersweet one. So if you're not loading this dishwasher up full every time and you're not running it every day, you could run the half load setting. It uses half the amount of water, takes half the amount of time. So uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be on the top or on the bottom. You know what I mean? Just if you're using half the capacity, you can run a half load. 
Okay, they think that should, you know, time of day and select, that's the, your general stuff. That should run the control board out and really hope, you know, it gets you all these settings. When we open this up, this is where we put our soap pod and this is where our rinse aid goes. Everybody asks me this, so, you know, rinse aid goes in here and we recommend the rinse aid to really help with water spots. It'll help with Tupperwares and plastics as well. So, finish tab goes in here, you slide the door down, it locks. This goes in there as well. Great glide on this. This is, so, this is super cool too, I love this part. These slide down, you could actually put a, um, a pot or pan handle on here, or you could put wine stems on here too. And the cool factor is everything does something. So these adjust down, so you could put these tines down if you had a pot or something like that, so you don't have to like, you know, hit the tines, etch them, and maybe make them chip away. I know in like older models, sometimes that happens. Okay, these are stems as well, so you could actually put stems down here, so you could put like a jug or a bottle, your sport bottles or your Yetis or Stanleys or whatever you got. So think about converting this any way you want. This can fold down, so you have plenty and plenty of options, okay? Let's talk, I'm gonna move this out real quick, okay? And I just wanna talk about the filter here. So you see the spray arm, look how the spray arm moves. So it's really agile, really kind of gets that whole dishwasher thing. This right here is your triple filter, okay? This is if you break glass, this is where it's really gonna see it and things like that. So be mindful of this. This is probably the only thing something that comes out like once a month or something like that. So think about that as well. And then let me talk about the telescopic rack over here. So these will slide down and snap as well. So you can actually put, you know, sharper things here. If you put a knife in here, you want to put a long ladled spoon, things like that. But it does have these etchings to put a wine stem on a 45. And when you think about it, you know, the dishwasher I say is like coffee. Everybody does it a different way, but you're going to want to put your dishes and your plates and your cups at a 45 because at a 45, water runs off. If it sits at a 90 like this, the water can pool. So, I mean, I don't care how good your dishwasher is. If it sits at a 90, uh, you know, gravity can't help you out there. So it has to really sit on a 45 so you have a clean runoff, okay? So right here is these tabs. So these are gonna adjust it up or down. This makes it telescopic. So we can jack it up like this. So if we have higher plates on the bottom, shorter things on the, on the top, then we'll hold these tabs down and do vice versa. It'll go down for us too. So now at this point, it's telescope, it's telescope down. So now we can add heavier plates and things like that. Now bigger items so you don't have to reach to the bottom and get it, okay? Love that. <laughs> Next, the all important cutlery rack. So this is pretty cool. I love this because I can put like ladles, taller spoons, things like that. But just look how cool, and I'll show you how this is. Just look how cool you keep a fork here. And there's a direct sprayer underneath here. So direct sprayer hits the tray directly. So that's so nice and easy. And this is kind of a convenient way to keep, you know, if you line them all up, you can keep service for 12 or 14. So, and I, and I have this at home, and I'm gonna tell you, if you don't have the time, you don't have to line them up. You can put them like this. They will be fine. They will get nice and clean. Like I said, there's a direct spray arm right underneath here, but you can't see it. So it kind of works out really well. All right, let's close that up. And this really kind of rounds out the overall overview of your Becco dishwasher and some of the fit, finish, and features. Hope you guys enjoy this and happy clean dishes.